Update. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Joe from Grindhouse Grotto. And um, I'm doing a two-part video tonight. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give everybody a tour of the Grotto. And then after that, I'm going to talk about this 100 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing. So stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, so uh, what we have in front of you is uh, it's where I do all the magic. This is where I do all my filming. So I do my little uh, film editing right here. It's my desk and office area. And then uh, right in front of me, I got a 13-inch uh, VHS TV combo. So uh, I like to buy some some older VHS tapes from time to time. Um, buy some of the harder to find VHS tapes. So I got a few up here that I've been kind of re watching recently. Got some others packed away, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much what it is. Um, so what I plan on doing in the future is uh, buying some some of the really obscure um, VHS tapes from the '70s and '80s that I really like, and I want to um, convert them to DVD. And kind of just uh, preserve some of the VHS of uh, of yesteryear. But anyways, uh, moving along. That's my office area. Here's my little uh, small little DVD collection. Let me kind of get in here real quick. Yes, I'm an Eagles fan. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I got a few DVDs down here. Was never really big into the DVD thing. I got a, a few cases of DVDs that don't, they're not in the, uh, they're in the case, they're not in the cases, they're in the little foil things. But, um, yeah, these are the ones I got on DVD. I don't have very many. Got some PS3 games there. I got a couple, uh, just chilling on the entertainment center here. Prom night. Just bought this the other night. It's pretty cool. It's a three movie set. Got the first one, the second one, and the fourth one. For some reason, they included a third one in it. <clears throat> and then I got this at a thrift store. Black Exodus. So I got this on um, Amazon Prime. I downloaded it. Paid like nine bucks for it. But uh, I had to have the um, the original DVD version of it. And then I got a uh, Psycho triple feature. That's pretty cool. Uh, never got around to buying the Scream Factory releases of these. I own the uh, the original Psycho on Blu-ray, but I never got the uh, the other Psycho two through four on the Scream Factory. So hopefully at some point I'll get those. For now the DVD combo will do. And then down here I got my uh, PS3, and then I got my region free. Plays all the regions, uh, Blu-ray player, <clears throat> and I got my little uh, Super NES Mini over here. So as we make our way to this little corner. I'm going to scroll back so you all can see this, and I apologize for the lights, but uh, I got a lot of lights because I got to have the room kind of lit up when I'm doing my videos. But yeah, I am a huge Alien fan. I love the Alien films. Uh, I love the old ones. I love the new ones. I don't care. I just love Alien. And to be honest with you, my favorite one of them all, and I might get some hate for it, is Prometheus. I love the Engineers. I really wish they would have uh, talked a little bit more in Alien Covenant about the engineers. I understand that, you know, they wanted to get back to their roots. They wanted to start um, talking about the aliens again. So they decided to, uh, to an Alien Covenant, to go back to the aliens instead of the, the engineers. But, uh, but I love Prometheus. It's one of my favorite movies. And then in the corner, some of y'all might have uh, seen before in the previous video where I did an unboxing of a bunch of posters that I got. So in this little corner here, I got all the Friday the 13th posters from part one all the way to part six. Got a little snacks right there on my mini fridge. Let's pull this open real quick. Some of y'all seen it before. Yeah, just some just some little snacks, a couple drinks in there. Let's see what I got right here. Waynesboro. Basic City Beer from Waynesboro. It's about a 15 minute drive from me. Pretty good beer. And got some other little things in there. I got some soup. I got some uh, some Mexican that I had tonight. <clears throat> That's my little mini fridge. Every man cave 
Every grotto out there has got to have one. If you don't have a mini fridge, you're wrong. All right. So anyways, you go up here. I got my little shot glass collection. So uh, I was in the Navy. Anybody knows anybody about anybody that knows anybody that was in the Navy, you know that we drank. Uh, every every port that I pull into, I would get try to get every shot glass that, uh, from every port that I pull into. So I got a whole bunch of them up there. I got this cool little boat right here. Uh, this was from from the island of Crete, and it's got two little uh, shot glasses that sit right in there. I don't want to tip it over because it might break. That little sailor back there, my grandmother. Uh, that was my grandmother's. So when she passed away, I got that. I got a couple glasses up there. Got My Bloody Valentine poster. I got Darth Vader. It's a little thing that I got at Walmart during Halloween time. And I got his little friend, BB-8. I got the infamous Slumber Party Massacre. Some more shot glasses. And then I got the, uh, the rest of the Friday the 13th posters. I apologize again for the light. I was in the middle of uh, filming this video, so I wasn't going to go ahead and rearrange the room. But, um, yeah, I've got all the posters. I do not have Freddy vs. Jason, and there's a reason why. Because I don't believe it belongs in the Friday the 13th franchise. Um, I like Fr I like Freddy vs. Jason, but it, uh, to me it's just not really a Friday the 13th film. I mean, it's got, it's got Robert England in it as a... Uh, um, Freddy Krueger, you know, it's a hybrid film. I just, I just, I'm really picky when it comes to my films. And I just feel like it doesn't fit into the franchise. I like it, but I don't want to put it up with the rest of the posters. I, I, I might get it, uh, poster eventually and put it somewhere else. But to me, it's not a Friday film. It's a hybrid film. So, uh, one thing I forgot to, to mention was the, uh, Friday the 13th box set, the, uh, complete TV series. So I probably watched maybe, uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten too far into it. I probably watched about 10 episodes of it. It's pretty cool. I, I dig it. So yeah, that's the top row. Then uh, the way I got my movies categorized, basically, uh, I'm constantly moving the stuff around, but basically the whole top row is all slasher films. And as I got new ones, I kind of just put them in the empty spots up top. So instead of having to reorganize everything, I kind of, I know this is a slasher row, so I just go ahead and put them up there. Phantasm is not slasher film, but I kind of just threw it up there. Same thing with the cell. I just didn't want to put them by itself on a, on, on the next row. But yeah, these are all the, uh, slasher films right here. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll, I'll go through some of them in another, another video, but I just kind of want to get through all of them. And then I put my, uh, screen factories and a few of the steals that I got at the end. So I've got the, um, synapse films. Uh, trio here of Tenebri, Tenebre, Phenomena, and Suspiria. All really good films. And then I've got some of the uh, Screen Factory titles that I own. Um, yeah. I've got other Screen Factory uh, collector editions that are uh, mixed throughout. But I put all the sleeves together because eventually I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably put them in a, like a plastic protector or something to keep them, keep them nice and uh, clean and damage free but i put them all together so that way they uh they're all in one spot and then i've got the uh halloween collection the first version that has uh all individual cases i've got the um hellraiser collection so one two and three i freaking love the set i love hellraiser it's one of my favorite fan franchises yeah so that's basically slasher mixed in with a little few seal books and then uh some Collector's editions and then some box sets. Trying to make it so that way I'm utilizing as much, you know, utilizing the space as, as productively as possible. Then we get down to the second row and I know, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and some people's eyes are, uh, it's a slasher movie and I agree. But I put some of the box sets I had together in the first part of it. So some of these, you know, like these, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Hell's Eye Eyes, um, Nightmare on Elm Street collection, the, the new, the remake, those are all slasher films. I just kind of can't really remember how I was doing it. I think I had, I was going to put some collections down here. Uh, but then I just started mixing in and I got some, uh, some horror films in here as well. So these are all my zombie films. So basically, basically zombie apocalypse type movies. Um, 
Yeah, these are all my zombie films. Um, yeah, I think one of my favorite ones in this section is probably The Dead. Uh, it's just a really cool film. Um, it's filmed in Africa. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have seen it before. But I just love the fact that the zombies in this movie look so realistic. Um, it's really cool makeup effects. Um, the fact that these are African guys they're filming. Uh, it's just something that's never been done before, and I really dig it. Get that back in there. And then you got the sequel, too, which is pretty cool, and that's it takes place in India. It's not really a direct sequel, but it's kind of a... I guess you could say it's in the same uh, same universe, same... Uh, um, maybe going on at the same time, just in a different country. Uh, so then I got my Stephen King films. So these are all the Stephen King films that I own to this point. And yeah, as somebody asked me before, um, how I had Maximum Overdrive on Blu-ray. Well, I ordered it off eBay, and it's one of those, uh, um, what do they call it? You basically, uh, when you when you purchase it, it takes a little, it takes a while to get to you because they have to specially make it and everything. So, uh, yeah, this company that makes it, they basically uh, order the rights, they own the rights to the um, to the movie, and then they can just uh, produce the the Blu-ray for it. And so it's not a bad, it's not a bad little release here. It's got some some features on it. I mean, it's got an HG theatrical trailer. It's got music of Maximum Overdrive, um, ACDC on Meeting Stephen King, Fangoria Scan Number Fifty Six. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, picture quality is actually surprisingly pretty good. And uh, so then I got my all my other horror films all kind of mixed in. So I'm gonna try to find room for these two. I just recently got these ones. <clears throat> like I said, there's some Scream Factory Collector's Editions that are mixed in here. I just hadn't got around to, uh, they don't have a sleeve, so I just kind of put them in the horror section by themselves. Got my little saw collection here. Um, the only one I'm missing is the, uh, the Part 7, which to me is kind of the weakest film in the, in the franchise anyways. So... I was pretty burned out by the time I got to the end of the franchise before they made, made the most recent one. So when they got to part seven, I was like, mm, it was all right, but I was kind of over it at that point. I was kind of bored with it. I mean, I like it now when I've gone back after, you know, taking a break from the franchise. But when part seven first came out, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of glad they're stopping these, these movies. But I do dig the new one. Um, I like all the films. It's just part seven kind of. It just was lacking, but I'll eventually pick it up. <clears throat> um, I forgot to say over here. These are my anthology films right here. Uh, Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, Creep Show, Creep Show 2. I threw the uh, the Grindhouse films in here because they're kind of kind of like anthology. They were a double pack. Um, and I've got anthology film I picked up the other night. Actually, it's right over here. Dead Tom Stories. I put that in there. But anyways, and then I got my uh, like kind of like my dramas. Kind of like the... Uh, they don't really fit into a category, I guess. They're just kind of dramas. Um, American Psycho. Some people call that a slasher. I kind of see it as a character. It's a character study, horror slash drama. It's got a lot of different elements in it. But anyways, I put it in this little spot over here. Um, you got some crime films in here. Uh, Book of Eli is a pretty good movie. Uh, Casino. Who can't say anything about that? Same thing with Goodfellas. Last House on the Left. Damn, that's kind of like an exploitation film right there. Yeah, I need to reorganize some of the stuff. I think I was really tired the night that I started putting the stuff in here. But anyways, so yeah. Then we get down to here, and I've got some of my uh, superhero movies in here. So we got um, Batman, the original, four films. And then we got the Dark Knight trilogy. We got Logan in 4K. Yeah. And we got some chick flicks in here too, guys. We got some Dear John and Notebook. Got to have a couple on hand for the ladies. My girlfriend, uh, I mean, she's not really too into uh, into the real chappy movies, but um, I mean, I, they're alright films to be honest with you. They're not bad, even though they're they're chick flicks. I mean, I, I'll watch them. <clears throat> um, and then here's some recent films that I bought that I haven't had a chance to kind of put in there. I've been doing some um, videos lately about these. I just haven't had a chance to put them in my collection yet. So then we move down here. I've got pretty much 90% of the James Bond films on Blu-ray. 
So I think I'm missing a couple of the newer ones. And I'm missing one of the earlier ones. I think I'm missing uh, Thunderball. I'm missing Thunderball. And then I'm missing two of the uh, two of the later films. I got all the Bourne films to this point. I love Jason Bourne. Awesome franchise. And then I just got a bunch of random action movies. So I'm kind of going to try to speed this video up a little bit. Love me some Rambo and Rocky. Uh, Robocop. The Taken movies are pretty cool. I kind of, a lot of people said they weren't very good after the first one, but um, I actually kind of like the third one the best, to be honest with you. To me, the third one's pretty cool. Um, I love Terminator. Terminator is freaking huge. Huge big time on my list of uh, favorite films, especially action films. I love Terminator. So I've got them all. I bought Terminator 2. I can't even tell you how many times I bought Terminator 2. I mean, I've got a case, a DVD case, just full of different versions of TV, uh, Terminator 2 that I bought on DVD. And then I bought to this point uh, three different versions of Terminator 2. So <laughs> I got two Blu ray versions and then I got a 4K version. I'll probably just keep buying them if they keep on re releasing this thing. And then I got the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I got some more horror. I'm sorry, more action films. And then I get into my sci fi and fantasy. So I got the alien films. I got Prometheus, Alien Covenant. I got all the alien. Four alien original alien films, and then I've got the Alien vs Predator, and then the sequel Requiem. Um, Third Days of Night's pretty cool. Um, Let Me In is freaking awesome. If you like vampire films, I love Interstellar as well. Um, I got the Lord of the Rings films, Lost Boys. My God, I love these three films right here. I don't care what anybody says. I like the second two. Um, they're not as good as the original, but I still, I still to this day, I love the trilogy. Uh, I know it took a long time, a long time, like almost damn 30 years. Well, the try came out, I think in like 2006 or 2007 or something. And then this one came out in like 2011, the thirst. But yeah, it took a long time to get to these two sequels, but uh, I love the three films. Well, the first one the best, but... Uh, Matrix, the trilogy, um, Never Ending Story is a pretty good one. Pandorum, people seem to not give this film enough love, but this film is awesome. If you get a chance to watch this film, you really need to watch it. It's, it's freaking badass. If you like the Resident Evil films, you're going to like this one. It's made by the same people. All right, well, I ain't got time to put that away. Put that away after the video. I got the Resident Evil films. Um, then I got my Star Wars. So I got all the Star Wars. So I got the, the prequels. Prequels. I got Rogue One. Um, I got the sequel, uh, the original trilogy. Then I've got Force Awakens, and then I've got the Last Jedi. And I've got all the Underworld films. Interview with the Vampire, Power Rangers, and 4K, which is a pretty cool movie. I, I dig that a lot. Got the Gremlins movies and Goonies. Can't beat them. Ninja Turtles. Grew up on those films. I love them. Christmas Carol, from when I'm in the Jolly Spirit. Uh, Step Brothers. Got, I got a couple of comedies. I'm not really too big into comedies. I got a couple of them. Um, Faces of Death. This is actually a pretty, pretty rare film to get, honestly. Not too many people have this. Um, from my understanding, it's actually worth quite a bit of money. I think I paid like nine ninety nine back in the day when this came out, and it was a, it was a long time ago when I bought this. Two thousand and eight. I think I bought this brand new when it first came out back in two thousand eight. It was one of the first Blu rays I bought. I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, and then down here I got my uh, my little Star Wars glass set collection. Got a little book my girlfriend gave me. It's basically uh, little mini stories of the, the original trilogy. I dig it a lot. I got the box that the uh, Friday the 13th box that came in. I got the I got the set up here on the top shelf. You can probably see it up there. But I keep this thing down here. And then I got uh, the original trilogy for Star Wars on VHS tape. So that's pretty cool. Threw that down there. And then I got my, uh, my NES collection. Got a little lightsaber there. I got the original NES, some games. 
I got the case for the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I got my original Super NES that I actually played on. Look at this shit down here. This is a little toy box for my dog. So these are all his little toys that he fucking drags around. Pulls the stuffing out of him. His little, his little binky. Craziness. This little thing right here. Look at this. This is a harness that went on my dog when he was a puppy. He weighed 13 pounds when I got him. He's a year and a half old now and he weighs 120 pounds. Can you believe that? This thing barely fits on his head now. But yeah, he uh, he, he he chewed this thing up. Look at that shit. Chewed it up. But I don't throw it away. It's his toy now. Um, this little case right down here has got some DVDs in it. So it's probably got about 100 DVDs in there. Uh, I got some CDs and some other things down there. I got this uh, People Under Stairs poster that I'm trying to find out where to put up in my in my little grotto in here. And then down here I got some I got some CDs and stuff. This little thing my mom got me. I'm trying to figure out where to put that at. Box full of CDs. I got some magazines down there. But yeah, that's pre pretty much it. Let me give you a little overview real quick. So I know I kind of went through that quick, but uh, that's my collection right there of Blu-rays. Then we go over here, and this is my final little wall here. I know it's a little dark, but um, got the Lost Boys poster there. I love the Lost Boys. I just got that the other night, actually. And then these were the other posters that I got in that unboxing. I put them all down here. And I'll probably do some rearranging. I mean, I'm just kind of trying to put them up. I don't really know exactly where I want them at this point. I know for a fact that's where I'm going to put these art posters, but these ones over here, I still haven't kind of figured it out. But we got the Maximum Overdrive, Christine, Halloween, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. But yeah, guys, that's it. So uh, stay tuned for the second part of the video. I'm going to get into this uh, 100 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is this giveaway. All right. So what this giveaway is going to entail is basically, uh, in order to be eligible for this giveaway, um, you need to like this video. Um, you need to subscribe to my channel, and then you need to drop a comment in the comment section. And what I want to know is basically what's your favorite beer and what's your favorite movie. All right. So those are the rules of the giveaway so when i reach 100 subscribers i'm going to be doing a giveaway the day that i reach 100 subscribers i'm going to take all the names of the, of the subscribers the people that comment on my video and people that liked and i'm going to be giving away a prize and the prize that i'm going to be giving away is uh four films that i picked up so these are some of my favorite films um so i thought they were appropriate to give away and um the first one being The Shallows. It's a, it's a recent film that came out about a couple years ago. I really dig this film. I'm big into shark movies. Uh, it's a great movie if you're on a date night with your girlfriend. You want to sit down and watch a suspenseful film. I highly recommend this. And um, all these movies I picked up today at Walmart, they're all sealed, brand new. So I'll be giving this away as part of the uh, 100 subscriber giveaway. Secondly, another great film. My favorite of this particular franchise, and that is Prometheus in 4K. Uh, I can't say enough about this film. I love it. If you haven't watched Alien, Alien films before, maybe you've watched Alien films, but you haven't seen the new ones, highly recommend watching Prometheus. Excellent film. <clears throat> Another great film. Talked a lot about it in my review, and that is The Lost Boys. Um, awesome film. I don't know anybody that hasn't seen this film. I don't know what's wrong with you. I haven't seen this film. Awesome vampire movie. And last but not least, I got this for $12 today at Walmart. It was a steal. I already own this film. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest films. I dig it a lot. It's a great Stephen King film. I uh, couldn't pass it up, though. And I felt like it would be really good in somebody's collection. So I picked up $12 from Misery with, with the sleeve still sealed at Walmart. So, uh, yeah. 
I'm going to be giving away all four of these films. Let me give a little, uh, all four of these films when I hit 100 subscribers. Okay? So, yeah, all four of these films. Um, so, like I said, the rules are uh, I need everybody to subscribe to my channel. You need to comment on it. Tell me what your favorite beer is, uh, what your favorite movie is, and hit the like button. And then when I get to 100 subscribers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the names that I got. I'm going to put it into a random name generator. And the first name it gives me, I'm going to reach out and contact that person. And uh, they're going to get these four movies. I will put them in the mail, expedite them, and everything. All right, guys. Um, really appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of the Grotto. Um, I'm really excited to get this... Uh, 100 subscriber giveaway going. Um, really want to get kind of a fan, a uh, little you know, fan base going. Uh, right now I'm only at six subscribers. Uh, I'm still a baby to YouTube, but uh, I started YouTube because I really wanted to get engaged with people, um, and so it's been kind of slow, and I really want to get pick up. So I'm gonna do this little giveaway. But anyways, guys, um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care.